Greetings and salutations of peace. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time, we call it the Master Blaster Jamming. I am your host for the Underground News Network, Itall Ayman I. Part 5, Word is Bond. From the court transcript, we learn that Muhammad's lawyer, Axe Mildred Muhammad, in essence, was her actions due to the fact she was going to, or was she writing a book? Six years later, we find Scared Silent, published by Simon & Schuster, Strebor Books. We all know domestic violence is wrong, but in this case we must consider the sanity of the author, author of this book. Does she even consider that Brother John Allen Muhammad is the father of her children? What about the children? In eight more days, if Allah does not intervene, they will lose their father in one of the most expedient executions in history. We will go very deep into this matter in the next eight days until execution. This is my second day of a 10 day fast and vigil for Mr. Muhammad. I wish here to read to you in this fifth discourse, Word is Bought, the article the Washington Post published concerning our endeavor at the trial. As we sat in the trial, it dawned on us this would happen as we knew the importance of us being there. We will feel it we feel it was done to expose us to dangers opposed to what we were doing. By Natalie Hopkins, Washington Post staff writer, Thursday, november sixth, two thousand three, page C O one, Virginia Beach. For weeks they sat there. He in plentiful locks, tucked inside a black mesh rasta hat. She in a black scarf covering her hair, ears and neck. On the back row of the courthouse room where the D.C. sniper trial is being shown to reporters on closed circuit television. They watched the proceedings intensely, scribbling notes and occasionally ex exchanging discreet whispers but never mingling with the other journalists chronicling the fate of alleged sniper John Allen Muhammad. When asked, they curtly respond that they are from the underground news network, but offers little else. There are reasons for this. The, the couple, dozen or so journalists surrounding them each day are the very vulture, vultures who wish to see John Allen Muhammad hang from the gallows of the Commonwealth of Virginia as the pair wrote in last week's internet account. And a large part of the reason they drove their white Ford pickup all the way from Florida to be here. In monitoring the so-called in monitoring the so-called professionals that the masses depend on to deliver the daily news. The Underground News Network editor in chief Aital Ayman I and executive editor and webmaster Dauru I hope to offer spiritual support to John Allen Muhammad, who they say was chosen by higher forces to deliver coded messages to the world. With execution lust range, raging in this coastal town and hardly a friend, family member, or supporter in sight, Muhammad sure could use the help. That is, if he even knows the UNN is out there waging this spiritual battle on his behalf. The sniper shootings were like, the sniper shootings were like a message from a high priest, this initiation right to take the world, especially black people, to a higher level, to get a higher consciousness, in quotations, says Aital Ayman I, who is 46. So instead of zigzagging through parking lots and ducking behind gas pumps during the terror spree that left 10 dead last October, he says Washington area residents should have been listening to Muhammad's missive railing against racism, corporate greed, and anti-Islam sentiments. But only the seers can read through the mysticism that accompanied Muhammad's mission. The duck in the noose phrase 
that Chief Moose recited at the sniper's request, the tarot card left at the sh one shooting, the notes demanding that the police call the sniper God, that's where wor word is bond, Essek Manifesto, the document containing the uh, doctrine in support of John Allen Muhammad come in. Uh, the document containing the, the, the doctrine in support of John Allen Muhammad and John Lee Malvo, a 35-page pamphlet that UNN published, comes in. So so far, they so far they say they sold about a hundred copies through the internet and independent bookstores for twenty-three dollars. For twenty-three dollars, as in twenty-three days of of terror. After Monday's proceedings, they have agreed to be interviewed in a sub shop across from the Virginia Beach Municipal Center. They decline to order anything, even water, as the Rastafarian couple, who also follow some teachings of the, some teachings of Islam, are vegetarians who don't trust food they have not prepared with their own hands. They are soft-spoken and polite as they walk, as they talk about their journey here. The main, the mainstream media. We're not telling exactly what is going on in the courtroom, says Dauru Ai, who is 30. They are saying that they caught Muhammad, but he actually led them to him. Thus the phrase, we have caught the sniper like a duck in a noose, meaning Muhammad would be waiting when police came for him and he would not run. It was all a divine plan. During the three weeks, Ayman, Ayman I say, Ayman I saw other signs the four gas station targeted represented the four big oil companies. The tarot card left for the police was the thirteenth card of the deck corresponding to death, and it, and it alluded to the thirteen-year-old boy shot at the school as a warning to the government that schools should be placed a places as should be a place for learning. The numerical link he makes from Muhammad's birthday, the age of the victims, to the date of the shootings go on and on. You have two. You have two black men who have held the nation at bay for 23 days, Iman I says. That hasn't happened since Nat Turner. Well, whether they killed him or not, you have to admit that he's an intelligent man. It's the trial of the century. It's actually bigger than o the OJ trial. At the time Iman I started putting the pieces together last October, he had already been hosting a radio talk show based in Jacksonville, Florida, and publishing a newsletter covering American Beach, a historically black resort town on Amelia Island, where he and Dauru I live in a small commune of nine, consisting of two wives, a husband, and six children. So he decided to fold the radio show and newsletter and his interest in Muhammad, uh, and his interest in the Muhammad case into a new website called Underground News Network. Ayman I tried to share his revelations with Muhammad soon after his arrest by mailing some of his writings to the Virginia jail where he was held, but officials returned them unread, stamped inappropriate content. So Ayman I published the Word is Bond pamphlet and along with Dauru I headed up to Muhammad's April pretrial hearing in Prince William County, but they never got that far. In route, police pulled over the 1998 Ford truck for a traffic stop on Interstate 95 in McIntosh County, Georgia, arresting them for possession of less than one ounce of marijuana, which they say they use for religious purposes. But before they were taken to the jail, they say officers from several law enforcement agencies swarmed the car during a stop, and FBI agents seized copies of their Word It's Bond pamphlet, along with other writings, including Fire and Dub, Anatomy of a Revolution, and of Pros and Cons according to a receipt of the seizures that the couple kept after being questioned for several hours. They were released on bail when they returned to court in June. Ch uh, charges against I Ayman I were dropped and Dauru I was charged with possession of marijuana and sentenced to 12 months probation suspended upon payment of a $500 fine according to the court records. They say they are still awaiting their pamphlets to come back. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself at this time. We call it the Master Blaster Jamming, and that's just half of the article. We will continue in part number six. Peace. Until that time, we ask you to hold tight, and we will unfold this mystery. Word is bond.